I've landed in London and the very first thing I'm doing is going to a handbag sample sale of Aspinall handbags. I chose the Aspinall Editor's Tote. I'm super excited because there's loads of space for my laptop when I'm traveling and I'll be able to carry on vlogging wherever I am in the world. Now I'm very excited because I'm off to France and I get to transfer everything into my new handbag. And there is so much to go into it, so we're going to see just how much we can fit. One laptop, excellent. My notebooks. And let's see if I can get two massive coffee table books and absolutely huge. This is incredible. So far I have a laptop and two full-size coffee table books in here and three normal books. Pencil case. This one's important. Not going to get very far without the passport. It's miraculous and I'm ready to go with so much in there I can't believe it. Goodbye grey and misty London and hello France. Ian's come to collect me Yay! at the airport. It's so good to be home. And I really can't believe the weather. Are we actually going to have a winter this year? It's a glorious winter's day here and even the sheep look to be enjoying themselves. And it's also a great day because Michael Petherick's coming back today. I'm going to go and collect him at the station in Chateau Roux. But before I go and get Michael, I've got so much work to do for the best reason imaginable. I launched my Patreon account yesterday and I've promised everybody a handwritten thank you card on one of Michael's limited edition photos of Lalande. And I had six cards waiting to thank people. And I've woken this morning to find that we have 55 patrons. I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. I'm speechless, but I have six thank you cards for 55 patrons. So I am ordering Prince of Michael's photos so that I can write those thank you cards. But if you're one of our patrons, please don't be surprised if there's a little bit of a delay in getting the card to you because I have to wait until it arrives here. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. We had a huge storm last night and you can still hear the wind howling now. So I've come out to check the roofs. So far the wheelie bins are the only victims. Maybe I shouldn't have brightened it's about to go again. Ooh, fun things in the post box. On my way back from the post box, this is what I see. At least they're not on the road anymore. Roof's looking good on the ancient side too. The chapel looks good. Ah. Oh. Sofa's fallen over. That's not the end of the world. Triumph. There you go, Michael Potts. I checked as promised. Everyone knows it's dinner time. Here we go, everyone. Come on, come on. Over here. And the really cute thing is that the sheep come to my hand. A little bit for you, Hannibal. Chickens and peacocks this way. Come on. I have to make a long line of food because Aloysius is such a bully, he'll keep everyone away from it otherwise. Mini Michael's getting pretty excited about seeing his hero. Excuse me, young lady. Do you know the way to Chateau de la Land? Yeah, jump in. Oh, you know the way? I know the way. Are you going there? I am. Oh, you give us a lift. Look, he's happy to see you. Oh, Mini Michael! Reunited at last. <laughs> Just gonna absorb back in. <laughs> Apparently, these are for me. They're for you. You haven't been back since Christmas. There's a ton of gifts for you. What? People buying me gifts? <laughs> no, it's amazing, I don't isn't understand. it? I understand. I want to open them now. <laughs> so who are these from? All of these are from Brenda Gibbons. All of them. And this one, this one is from Jennifer. And this one, just adorable, is from Josie. Oh, wow. I love these mice, they're amazing. Yeah, it was your Christmas decoration, but you weren't here to take it home. But don't worry, I put him on my tree. I love that. Why don't you eek them out? I'll, I'll, I'll drag it out like Advent. It's been really hard for me seeing all these unopened presents and not opening them. I would, I would never have known that these were, these were mine. <laughs> I've been good, them, right? You could have opened them and... But I've never met Brenda. I know, but but she's seen you a lot on the vlog. <gasps> what is it? What is it? Oh my God. What is it? This. She's been watching the vlogs. Oh my god, I love this! I'm dying, I want to know what it is! You're so slow! 
Ta da! <gasps> no! <laughs> Do you know what? That is the most. Um, that I am so pleased with. That's your you favourite tea. Do you know what? I literally, when we bought the first one, when we yeah. were in London, I ran out like last week. And I was thinking, I'm gonna have to go back to London. Thank you so much. I'm really pleased with that. I feel like there's too much. This is, they can't all be for me. I'm gonna open this one. The one from Jennifer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that is nice. It's a scarf. That's gorgeous. Oh. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh my God, that is so nice. Oh, that's so you. That is so, I feel like a gentleman wearing that. Oh, what a gentleman look. Hey look who there. I get to hang out with. It's from Liberty. You're joking. It's from Liberty. You spoiled brat. That is a Liberty scarf. <gasps> Oh my god, a Liberty scarf! Oh my god, no one's ever bought me a Liberty scarf. Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, you, you, you will have to get a present in return. Like this is you can't, people can't send me things. I don't even like. I don't understand. People I haven't met, they send me gifts. People are so kind. But it's I don't crazy. It. I don't deserve it. No, that's true. To be fair, everyone, he doesn't. He doesn't deserve, I don't deserve it. <laughs> There's more. I know. Stop. Okay, my two favourite shops in London. We've got Fortnum and Mason. That is literally your two favourite shops. That's this unbelievable. Is, I just feel like, you know, I don't even need to go to London anymore. <laughs> because I got my tea and I got my little scarf. I'm done. See ya. Good to see you back in the kitchen. Mm, nice to be back. What project are you working on? Well, I have a harebrained idea. I'm going to use this weird contraption called a knife and slice a lemon. Oh, excellent. I've never done this before, so it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> gin and tonic time. Oh um, no, yeah, we're having gin and tonic and we need lemons. I like your lemons, sir. They're your lemons, Steph. Well, we got them together. We did. How do you want your lemons sliced? Now, I can slice it many ways. Oh well, slice it surprise this me. This way, like wedges, or I can do thin slices, or I can do like, like strips. I didn't know there were so many options. What do you want? Um, well fine, give me a twist of lemon. I think, like... Yeah, that, yeah, that. yes. A nice big twist. There you go. Whee! That smells really good though. Mm. Cheers! <laughs> okay, now, steak frites. Hit the ground running. You do the steak, I'm doing the chips. Just chop some garlic and some parsley. And I'm gonna put it with some butter. And some steak. <laughs> smother it all over it. <laughs> or two. Yum. We've done well again. We have done well. Look at that. Steak, garlic, butter, rocket salad. Crispy fries, Steph. Mm. Do you want to tell us about those? Yeah, I left them in too long. Yeah. But can you hear that sizzling in the background? That's the second batch. Yeah, I put a new batch in, but we could just eat the crispy That's ones. That's just for two people, right? Well, yeah, but they're the ones we're who went wrong. We're expecting guests. <laughs> no, I'm peckish. <laughs> we just had dinner, but um, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to make the present last. You know? <laughs> You're not doing a great job of it. This is number three in like one and a half hours. Is this the famous chocolate that was on TV? I know about this brand of chocolate. I've always wanted to try it. Brenda Gibbons and Jennifer, you like read my mind. You know exactly why. Probably more than my family. <laughs> That's weird. Good morning, it's a new day and yet here we are in the same position. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been waiting here all night. <laughs> With my presence, waiting. But you know me. we have to go out, we're going to the Brocante. We are. Shall I open one now? Yeah, I go on then. Ooh. Ooh. Malloy and Sons weaving Donegal. Ooh, that's Ooh, gorgeous. You're going to be warm that. in that. Oh, oh yeah, you'd wear that today. Oh, it's going to. Oh. <laughs> okay, open this one. Open this one. So far, I haven't received a thing that I didn't like. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's so you. Oh, bespoke tailor. Handsome headwear from Donegal. Oh, that's what you need, handsome headwear. This makes me want to go to Ireland. Pure new wool. You look amazing! Do you like it? Yes! Yeah? Yeah. She's in my sinister gloves now. No, you need your amazing tweed coat that you bought <sighs> in my East last time. You oh, haven't got it here. It's not here, it's at Bamanyu. Uh, okay, the minute you get back to Bamanyu, I want a photo of you with those I'm and, the, wear and the coat. All of it together. Yes. Okay, but we genuinely have to go to the Brocante. Let's go then. Okay? Yeah? Let's go. We're in a row going to the Brocante. Oh, we're going to go and buy some antiques. Well, we're going to try. Yes, we're going to have a look anyway. Sat on the pew in the front of an old van. Okay, we've spotted a jacket. We can't work out if it's for men it's or women. Nice. I think it might be a man's one. Yeah, try it on. I don't know if you're doing it. Yeah, it's actually 
pretty yeah. cool, but yeah, it's quite small. Maybe it is a woman's, because if it doesn't fit you, that's not for men, is it? Realistically. It's too feminine I on the it, waist. I, I it's a woman's think, one. I, I think, think so. I might try it on. Shall I try it on? I think it yeah. really suit you. Well, I've tried on the jacket that you tried on. I quite like it. What do you think? I think it really suits you. All I need now is convertible and goggles. Oh, we're going to have to find... Maybe we'll find the goggles here. <laughs> But like no, it. but that is a real leather coat for 36, 36, 36 oh. euros. Okay, I like it. It's really snug and warm. It's pretty nice. Well, this is it. Our trip has been made. Ian Maybe is going else. to transform this into a sink unit. All marble, including the mirror surround. And it's 119 euros. And I will paint the wood so that it's all pale. And then we'll find a nice roll top bath. A roll top bath. I was to go with. Yeah. yeah. It's the turn of the century. I, well, I, think I think a bit later, I think, I think 1920s, I think, I think it's, it's Art Deco. Amazing. Could be 20s or 30s, maybe in 1930s. Anyway, it's going to be to late 20s. perfect. I'm not going to get this wardrobe, but I just want to give you an idea of the prices in some of these places in France. This entire wardrobe is 49 euros. And uh, actually, Ian, could I use you as a size comparison for the wardrobe, please? Yes, now I'm quite fat, and this one <laughs> is a lot larger than I am. What wardrobe? This one's 49 this one euros. This one. And look at the amazing painting it comes with. Look at that. That's what you Me? get. And yeah, the two of you. Yeah. What more could you ask? That must have put another pound on it, surely. <laughs> no, but there's a nice wardrobe around here that's even Ooh, older. Oh, show me. This one, but it's 75 euros and it's huge. That it's is awesome. stunning. <laughs> I think it's mahogany. And that's 119 euros. Yeah, look at the detail of the bevel bar. So basically, 100 quid. Come to France with a van, get yourself to one of these places and fill up the house with antique furniture. Stunning bevel glass. Here there's a bedroom set because there's the wardrobe and the bed. Headboard and footboard. That's this is... Wall up in here, bell wall night, isn't it? Bell wall night, yeah. 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 Can't even get that anymore, can you? 175 euros for the whole room. And here's the matching bedside table. Why do they have one? I know, bizarrely, I only ever find them sold with Maybe one. Maybe they weren't intended to be two people in them. Yeah, perhaps. Monsieur and Madame had their separate bedrooms. Maybe, maybe. And I've been looking for a small marble topped washstand for my bathroom. I haven't got much space where I want to put it. And in fact, I'm going to make a little tea station so I can make myself a cup of tea in the morning without going downstairs. And this looks perfect. That's a big blanket. Right? It's yellow. So I don't particularly like this side with the border. Yeah. But I actually like the plain yellow side. And I'm thinking for my bedroom in summer, I would like a huge thing like this. Oh, I like Yellowies. it. Definitely for spring. I mean, it's very... Um... It's very daffodil, daffodil, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> daffodil yellow. yellow. In spring. So, okay, this will be my spring bedding. Yeah. Uh, we can't put it on yet before I start. It needs a good wash. Yes. <laughs> twenty-five euros. Let's see if they can bring that down. It's a little bit expensive. It's, little bit pricey. it's probably worth about ten. Wait. I know what that is. Do you? Do I do. It is. It's to make the top of creme brulee. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yes. You heat it on the on the oven, yeah. and then you put it on top of the hot sugar that you put on the creme brulee. Oh. to melt the top. That's the way they used to do it before blow torches. Before blow torches came along. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really smart. Well, that copper pan... I love it. I love euros, it. Is, is fantastic. Well, it's, Look, it's, well, it's cost, somebody's just had that retinned <coughs> yeah. inside. So and it's got a proper iron handle, which the ones that are worth money are the ones with the iron handle. I didn't know that. Really heavy ones. Poppy riveted. Yeah. That's coming is home. That yeah, it's Nine euros. Really yeah. What have you got, Michael? Well, you know the uh, the Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then there's a lot of conspiracy theories saying that the one that's there now is actually just a fake. Because they Ooh. couldn't find the original. Well, I found the original. Oh, my God. It's here. <laughs> made our fortune. It's unfortunate <laughs> that somebody spilled acid on it. <laughs> That's really heavy, that. You're firing on all cylinders today. Uh, cast iron pet pan. Love oh, it. Le Creuset. Le Creuset, pan. sorry. <laughs> 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 Look, it, 14 euros. Yeah, no, that's worth it. That's going. That's also really good for doing steaks, you know. I have. And I think of the future. But maybe that we can put 17. To one side. Yes. Ah. But it's pretty. No, 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 no. I can't believe we fit all of this in. And this little washstand is for my bathroom. The big washstand is going to be for when we redo one of the outbuildings and make a beautiful new bathroom. We are heading somewhere super exciting. 
because Michael Patrick wants to see... I want to see the chateau of Boussac. Uh, and it is apparently where the, the tapestries of the lady and the unicorn were found. Boulangerie, yum. This is a lovely little town, Boussac. Yeah, straight down here. It's rerouted us, a far more sensible route. We don't know what we're doing. That woman looks very frightened of your driving in. Very I, I, I frightened indeed. No, that man looks so very frightened as well. Look at this, the chateau. We moved it when we weren't looking when we were driving around car park. <laughs> there it oh, is. Oh, I think we found the castle. Just come across it. This is a far better way to arrive. Oh, See? Right. Very sensible of you, Ian, to come this yes. way. Yes, well, I thought wow. so. Wow. This is really the entrance. I mean, we're not, should we not really be entering it from up there or something? No, that's going to be a terminal. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> she can't make it. Really. This is bizarre. Well, this is one way in. I have no giraffe. This is unbelievable. This is the really the entrance. Well, no, I think we missed the entrance back up in the town and now we're going. It's a really, really weird route. Oh, my, look at the little tiny cottage at the base. Uh, this is not the entrance. Can I turn here, turn right here? No, you can't turn right here because it's just a footbridge. Bloody footbridge am I? Oh my god, that, that? they're literally... Google is asking us to go over that in a van! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. No, Google! <laughs> Breathe in, everybody! <laughs> I don't believe it! Google, what were you thinking? Okay. <laughs> I've got no idea where I'm going. Well, that's lovely down there. Oh, well, we are approaching the castle wow. of Boussac from every possible conceivable angle. And however big it is, we seem incapable of getting to it. We're just going Most, round and round the car park in Boussac. Look at the train on the back of that bike. <laughs> great, 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 great. Oh, that is absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so I just know my way around this I love this boulangerie. I believe we're trying to get the van down here. And then right, actually then right. That's, that's a part. <laughs> this is not something to do in a van if anyone else is considering coming to Boussac. Let's go have a look and see. Well, we've come all this way because it said it was open on the internet, but it turns out in winter it's only open on reservation. <laughs> oh, should we go and look at the view? Yeah, let's see the view. So I would love to do a vlog about the lady and the unicorn tapestries that were found in this chateau. But it would be nice to be able to get into the chateau to do that. It's so high up. Lovely little stream at the bottom. There's a lovely little bridge across the There is a little bridge. <laughs> we should go over that in your van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely town. What a delightful place. I can't believe we made it in that van. Well, in spite of the fact that we didn't get to go to the castle, I think it's been a successful day. I've got a coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Michael, you've created a masterpiece. As we said, we live well. We do. We've got avocado, one each, smoked salmon. Actually, that's smoked trout. Oh, I love that. Mm, smoked trout and scrambled egg and a little bit of rocket there. On the new pan? On the new pan, yes. Obviously, that's designed for for uh, <laughs> pancakes. You were just so excited that you couldn't not use it. Yeah. Now this one I'm interesting because it's, I don't know what that is. Only one way to find out. <gasps> what is it? What is it? Actually, I even asked you to, if you were going to Fortnum Mason when you were in London last mm -hmm. and you said you weren't, so I didn't ask you to get me this. Is this what you wanted? This is what I wanted. Well, show me shit, like, show me immediately. I don't even care what the tea is like. That is just the most beautiful tin we, ever. We went to London and we were in Fort Lauderdale. Mason. Yeah, I remember you talking about the, the jasmine. jasmine. The jasmine pearl tea. Yeah, I remember. Wow, you are so spoiled. <gasps> it's Wonder. beautiful. I feel oh, really that's bad beautiful. Now. You bought me all these lovely things. What are we going to drink tonight, Michael? I've got another one here. Hint. Hint. Oh, we're going to drink <laughs> jasmine. Maybe she's my soulmate. <laughs> You heard it here first, Brenda. You are Michael Petherick's soulmate. 